okay so what we have here is a, a new creation from me uh, it's a spectrum analyzer uh, that I have built recently uh, using uh, microchips DSPIC uh, 30F4011 so um, this is the basic hardware uh, it uses the, the DSPIC 30F4011 as you can see here and uh, so this basic hardware has uh, the controller and a voltage regulator over here and some connector which links the graphics LCD and uh, this is another board which has a um, you know a uh, split power supply uh, which gives plus minus uh, 9 volts and uh, there is one more um, op amp and other stuff which basically does the analog signal uh, conditioning <coughs> so this is the oscilloscope that I am using uh, to view the waveform and uh, here is my uh, spectrum analyzer uh, waveform that I can see and uh, this is the function generator uh, I procured it very recently from uh, US <coughs> so and this is the transformer so what basically we have done here is um, this DSPIC uh, from microchip has uh, FFT library uh, which I have basically ported it for uh, this particular device uh, DSP 30F4011 and uh, I am generating the signal from this function generator and uh, and then uh, I am uh, doing the FFT and as you can see the peaks over here so what I will do right now is uh, show both the waveform on the same screen and I'll try to vary the amplitude first and let's see how does how does the peak change so let me first reduce it reduce it so as you can see uh, as the uh, peak in time domain in this oscilloscope it uh, reduces so does the uh, spectrum uh, of that particular frequency it reduces in the uh, spectrum analyzer which is basically the output of the FFT magnitude now um, <coughs> okay so we have basically one peak and that is because the out the signal that I'm generating is a um, it's a pure uh, sine wave and so it doesn't have any harmonics and it's fundamental frequency so now I'm increasing it increases and as you can see uh, I'm increasing the frequency and uh, sorry the amplitude and same way the peak here it changes it increases and now we see these two peak and that's because uh, the output of a um, real FFT which has you know the frequency uh, which can be used till from 0 to the half of the sampling frequency and that's where it is um, it is valid and beyond that it goes outside of uh, Nyquist uh, sampling rate and so it is not useful and this so basically the mirror of whatever you see here is same thing is mirrored over here so let's change the frequency and see how much is the uh, peak do the change like so if I change the frequency this thing should suppose to if I increase the frequency it's supposed to shift this way and if I reduce it it will shift this towards the left side so let me change so as you can see my current frequency is about 134 hertz 124 136 hertz and the spectrum you can see over here so let me increase the frequency so uh, as you can see the frequency is increasing and the same way the frequency is increasing over here you can see in time domain and in frequency domain the peak of FFT is also shifting towards the left side so as you can see it's shifting nicely so this is a higher frequency about 689 sorry it's a 300 hertz and the peak also have shifted so if I shift it even more so you know they get closer and closer this comes to about 412 hertz and the peak you can see over here now my uh, you can see the peak suddenly reducing and that's not the problem with F50 but the code I have written for graphics display the line plot it's not you know there are a lot of bugs but it's usable but once in a while it doesn't um, work nicely so yeah so I am reducing the amplitude and increasing the amplitude so it works fine for a sine wave so let's see um, if I can 
I can view the same waveform. Uh, is I can I can view a waveform which is like a square wave or something else. So we'll do it now. Okay, so um, I have connected uh, the square wave uh, output of the function generator to the input of the spectrum analyzer, and as you can see. My input is the square wave of a frequency about 103 hertz and we have the spectrum over here. So as we know uh, square wave is basically uh, addition of lot of uh, the, it is the addition of the fundamental plus lot of uh, odd harmonics. So uh, my assumption is this is the fundamental and this is the third harmonics and this is the fifth harmonics and then it goes outside the sampling rate. So that's basically not shown. So let's change the amplitude so let's amplitude we know anyway it changes so let's change the uh, frequency and see if we can shift the the peaks over here so changing the frequency uh, as you can see uh, it basically sh it is basically shifting and uh, it shifts all okay there is lot of shift and then uh, so as you can see the fundamental have moved uh, quite close to each other and uh, the third and fifth harmonics have basically vanished and that's because they are outside the the sampling rate of my spectrum analyzer and the frequency is quite high about 265 hertz now uh, one thing you might be wondering is uh, is is this something like a um, maximum capability of DS peak, but that's not the case. The DS peak uh, ADC is quite um, faster than this, and it can do a sampling up to one mega sample. So, um, and uh, considering the power of DS peak, which can go up to 30 MIPS, uh, we can easily sample much higher frequency and do an FFT. But my final application is actually to uh, determine the harmonics of a power uh, of a uh, power system. So in India we have a frequency of 50 hertz. So even if I have to measure, say about um, tenth harmonic, I'll I'll have to go to about 500 hertz. So uh, which is the maximum uh, that you can actually expect in a power uh, power system. So uh, for 500 hertz, uh, this software what I've written is very good and. And my final application will not show the graphical waveform. I'm not. Uh, that's not my final. Uh, the expected output what i'll do is basically show some numerical value of the fundamental and each of the harmonics odd and even harmonics and based on that i'll determine the the kind of load that is connected so that's what i have now um these um the hardware uh, schematic as such again uh, i have not so as you can see uh, it's all handmade so nothing is uh, actually uh, available as such and hard copy so if you want, uh, even if you want, I cannot give you the uh, schematic, um, schematic. But the software code, which is uh, actually available from Microchip website, the FFT uh, library file. Uh, but in case if you are still looking for the same uh, code that I have used, I can very well send it to you. And if you want, you can mail it to me on my uh, YouTube uh, email ID. So I'll very much, I'll be glad to send the source code. And um, and so uh, the addition, uh, the addition, additional uh, code what will be available in this particular project is the FFT uh, code which is available from Microchip plus the graphical display which, if you want, you can use it for something else. So that's all what I have today. I hope you have liked my new creation, and uh, if you have really liked it, send me some comments, and I'd be glad to reply them. Thank you.